Hi, Hiram here. I got a new little stove, alcohol stove, to add to my collection. It's called the Jiffy Heat Sportsman Alcohol Stove. box is a little beat up, but the stove itself is in real good shape. This is what it looks like, the carrying case, which doubles as a frying pan stand. Burners on the inside of this. Burner is a lot like a Trangia from the looks of it. I don't know if you can't see it in there, but there's a mark on the inside saying fill to here. About maybe a little about halfway up. So there's the burner. Here's the pot stand, bent wire. Unfortunately it doesn't fold. It just fits in corner to corner of the carrying case. But this fits on the top of the burner like that. There you go. And then the pot would go on there. But if it shows in the pictures that if you're using a frying pan, something much heavier, you would put it like this and then have the frying pan go across this. So what I want to do here real quick is just a little boil test to see how well this works. Oh, it also has a lid. I thought it was a lid, but I have a feeling it's a simmering. We'll have to try that here. I have two fluid ounces of alcohol. Let me pour it in here and see where it comes to the line. Now as I pour it in, it's soaking into the... There must be insulation or something on the inside of this. And it's soaking up into that material. That was two fluid ounces. And it stopped right about at the line. So I would say that this will hold, therefore, two fluid ounces of alcohol. Let's put the pot stand on. Okay, let's start the timer. See how long it takes for this to come to a bloom. Now this probably isn't fair. I don't know if this burner's been used before or not, but on other ones, the first time I use a burner, it never really does its best. But we'll see what happens here. Okay, we're working on 24 seconds, 26, 30. Now sometimes if things don't come to a bloom, you have to give it a little wave so that the gases go into the flame. No, nope, not yet. The room temperature here is 71.2, 65% humidity. So it's not exactly like it's on a real cold day. No, nope, not yet. That's a minute. That's just some alcohol that fell on the outside edge. That might be a way to prime it. Hmm. Taking a little longer to come to a bloom than what I thought it might. Starting to see a little gas coming out of the jets. There are 16 holes around this. Huh, working on two minutes, just doesn't want to light. Hope that's not why it was on sale. It's trying to go. You know what, I wonder if maybe I shouldn't have put the pot stand on yet. Maybe that's sucking the heat off of it. Yeah, I wonder. 
See now if the jets are going. I'll have to try that again without. So that's what? It was two and a half minutes to get it to a bloom this way. Okay, there we go. Nice jets. Let me put this back on. Still nice jets. I have two cups of water here setting at 59 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212 at 457. We got two cups of water starting at, I think it was 59 degrees, to a boil in 4 minutes and 57 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for these two fluid ounces to run out. Okay, there go the flames, they're going. Going, gone at 17.39. 17.39. So it looks like this brought, this had a two and a half minute time to bloom. Then it brought two cups of water to a boil in 4 minutes and 57 seconds and then ran out to 2 fluid ounces of alcohol ran out in 17 minutes 39 seconds add the 2 and a half onto that and that makes that uh, about 20 minutes now what I'm going to do here real quick well not real quick for you it will be I'm going to let this cool off become get down to room temperature and then I'm going to try that blossom test again without the pot stand on it so I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. I let this stuff all cool off just to show you. There's the temperature of the table. There's the temperature of the stove. Room temperature is, I guess that's room temperature. So what I want to do now real quick is load this up with two fluid ounces again. It soaks it in and drops it down to that line. So I assume then that the capacity of this stove is two fluid ounces. Anything more and the jets probably won't work right. I'm going to light it this time without the pot stand on it. Let's see what it does. Now a couple of things that I might I don't think I went over last time. The whole stove and everything, the these parts, the pot stand, the burner, the lid, all come out at 156 grams or 5.4 ounces or 0.338 pounds. Again, this isn't meant to be a gram weenie type item. Just the burner and the lid by themselves if you wanted to leave this behind rather the burner the lid and the stand come out to 69 grams or 2.4 ounces or 0.156 pounds there's 16 holes around it I forgot to turn on the timer darn it oh I didn't turn it off from last time uh, I'll have to look back on the film to see how long this has been going. The clock's been going for about two minutes on the camera. Let's see, some other things. It looks like this is all aluminum, except for maybe the pot stand. The cap and everything 
all feel and look like pressed aluminum. What else? Oh, unlike the Trangia, you can't store fluid in this because it doesn't uh, screw down or, you know, close up tightly. It's just always open, so there's no carrying any fuel in this. You have to burn it out, I guess. Again, like I said, you got to fan it. There, it's starting up already. Now, it's been a minute here. So maybe it's about the same. I'll look back and leave a note to see what it does. Let's let this come up a little bit. Okay, let's see what happens when I put the stand on. Now the stand is made so that this part rests across the top and these legs rest on this little flange here. just like that and then your pot goes on top of that it's made that you can use a frying pan with it using these standoffs okay let's see what happens with this I thought this was a lid but with the hole in it I think it might be a simmering maybe a little leaky around the bottom edge here there we go so it does form a small burn on it. Or does it? Maybe it's not a simmering. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Because I was just thinking, if I put the pot stand back on it, that's going to fall right across that hole. Maybe the hole is there so that if there is liquid left in here, you can put this on right away but when the alcohol cools off it doesn't form a vapor seal there and lock everything down that's probably what it is so there's my new Jiffy Heat Jiffy Heat uh, Sportsman alcohol stove I'll put this up on the shelf with the rest of my collection pretty cool I think for an antique they're not made anymore obviously so, recap here real quick. It brought, it took about two and a half minutes for it to bloom. It brought two cups of water starting at 59 degrees to a full boil in four minutes and 57 seconds. And the run out time from there was 17 minutes and 39 or with the two fluid ounces it burned for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I thank you for watching my videos as always. I look forward to your input, your questions, your remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin, and I know it's never gonna 